Hi there. Today I wanted to christen my new zebra, very shiny billy can. It's a 12 centimetre one. Not much to say about it, it's a good bit of kit. It's got a lid which uh, has a little uh, handle that you can take it off with. It comes with a pan which just sits inside. I saw on YouTube that somebody uh, put holes in the bottom and made it into a steamer. I'm not sure if I'll do that, but uh, anyway, it's, that's there. And then we've got the pot itself. It holds a litre of water. The litre comes up to about here on it and uh, has a handle which is fixed pretty sturdily. And it has a little crook, crook in the handle, which you can means that when you hang it up, it doesn't slip on either side. So now I'm going to go make a fire. I hope you can hear me because it's freezing cold and a really strong wind. I'm doing this uh, zebra billy can uh, christening in my back garden. It's got a very small copse, like tiny, and uh, there's no standing deadwood. I have found some bits and pieces I can use to start the fire. I found uh, some old bits of wood I've chopped down a few years ago and that's dead so I'm going to take this off and add it to my collection of wood. I'm also using well basic wood from the woodshed, the log shed, because there just otherwise won't be enough to burn. But I'm hoping this will be really good to start it. Well at least once I've got a flame going. I've also found some, yeah, some um, old kind of type of grass, kind of thick, um, not sure what it is, it's some sort of plant that's died off now and it's really, really dry, so I'm going to use that too. So here I've got my sticks and wood ready for the, um, the fire. I'm going to quickly make a few sort of basic feather sticks out of some old, some cedar I chopped down last year. It's really dried out now, it's like balsa wood, so I'll quickly make some feather sticks just to make sure this fire really goes well. That's a quick one. As I say, it's uh, very dry and very like this, this cedar wood, so it was pretty easy, as you can see, to do. And I'll do a few more and uh, then get the fire going. Now, I don't know if you can hear me because the wind's got up even stronger, but uh, anyway, I've got my fire prepared. I'm going to use uh, my ever trusty cotton wool pad in Vaseline, which uh, because it's so windy I'm not even going to try it any other way really. So here we go, I'm going to open it up a bit. Uh, I'm going to use my, get a spark on it and uh, hopefully, here we go. So I'm going to see if I can get this going. Whoa, that's doing well. It's caught. The question is, whether it's going to go the way I want to. Oh, the wind's changed, that's helpful. I think I'm going to go this way now. Okay. Oh. I'm going to get the fire that I want. Typically the wind has now changed direction, so always the way. Well, 
Well, I don't know if you can see, but it's beginning to take, I think. I might have to possibly help it a bit more. I may not have put, I may not, I may, I may have gone from uh, too, th from the very thin grassy material to too thicker material. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to catch, but I can always try blowing it, even though I've got the wind here. I think it's beginning to go now. Okay, I've done a lot more blowing. <laughs> I think, as I say, the mistake I made was I, um, I was being a bit lazy and I didn't make really, really tiny kindle after the initial grass, but I really think it is okay now. So um, we're back on, back in business. It also doesn't help, I don't think, because it's so windy. Right, I'll get it going and uh, stack it up. And then I'll bring you back when it's nice and hot and ready. To, I'll put the um, putting the zebra on. Right. Well, very cleverly in my haste, I uh, didn't hadn't actually made a support for my billy can to uh, sit on. So I'm going to quickly. I've got a um, a piece of Y-shaped stick. So I'm going to quickly put a point on it and uh, make it a little bit shorter, and then see if I can rig something up quickly. So. got much of a point in it but hopefully enough to get it in the ground. So what I'm going to do is just bash in the um, the Y stick and hopefully rig up the billy can now. I don't know if you can see this. I'm hoping you can. Let's get the stick. Check this. That's pretty good. Now the only thing I need is something to support the other end so it doesn't fall over. Okay, I think I'm ready to um, put the water on now at last. This would be about the right. Yeah, that would be about. It's a bit. That's pretty good. Oh, I need to adjust this a bit. Come back to you when it's uh, cooked or boiling. <laughs> so the good news is, although it's very windy, it's taken quite a while to get it to a rolling boil. But uh, I think I'll check it again now. But I reckon, where's my stick? I reckon that it should be just about there. Not sure if you can see in there actually. 
but yeah, it's got definite rolling ball. So this is actually this handle's fine. It's not too, it's not hot. Probably because the uh, flames haven't been too high. So I've got my cup of hot chocolate here and the moment of truth. And I'll, and I'll try and do this without while filming and uh, doing this at the same time. Lovely. Give it a good stir. Well, there's not much in there actually. I'll put a bit more in. There we go. Keep that warm. So, I will say, um, here's to the christened billy can. Cheers. <laughs> Till next time.